How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it is time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome, Amiibo. Oh, yeah, it is time for day two, and it's nighttime. Yeah, that's right. This, uh, this series... Oh, Amiibo camera. All right, I can use Amiibo camera to take pictures of town residents and Amiibo characters in the real world. Um, all right, well, it's good to know. Thanks. Um, yeah, but anyway, this series will be played at different times on a kind of rotating basis, I guess. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and do Spot Pass. Sure, why not? And uh, it just so happens on Tuesdays, at least at the time of this video, it will be at uh, 8 p.m. Central Time. Okay. So let's go to Werder! And enjoy the second day here. Hi, Isabel. <laughs> Good evening, Mayor Werder. In Cheville, it's Tuesday, May 30th, 2017. The current time is 8.01. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing it. I'm, oh, darn it. <laughs> okay, all set. Ah, that reminds me. Mayor Werder, I haven't had a chance to explain what your work as mayor entails, correct? When you find a moment, please come to town hall and be sure to sit in the chair in the back. Oh man, I have to work. I don't want to have to work. I want a job. I just want to be mayor. Samurai mayor. Ah, hello there, mayor. I've got a delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox, so be sure to check it later. When your mailbox is full, I can't cram any more in there, so don't forget to collect your mail, okay? All right, that sounds wonderful. Um, well, I've got to get moving. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. So let's grab the mail over here. Oh, yay, we got three pieces of mail. We've got something from an unknown sender. Two worder. Congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, but one thing led to another, and now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. Who the heck is that? Um, all right. Then, ooh, from Soleil. Let's see, dear Werder, thanks for taking the time to send me a letter and gift. I got a present for you too, and something tells me it's going to blow you away. I hope it suits your tastes. Yours truly, Soleil. All right, well, what what is it? Uh, we'll have to check it in a moment. And then from Bones, um, hi Werder, your letter was better than cheese and celery sticks. Can you come over to play soon? I have lots of toys and a charming personality. Visit me soon. See you around, Bones. All right, Bones, that sounds great. Okay, so what is going to blow my mind, all right? I need to know what Soleil sent that's gonna blow my mind. All right, it is a, a violin. <laughs> all right, here I was expecting a trumpet or something. Um, okay, so that's fine and dandy. Oh look, our little trees are growing. That is nice. So there's something I was thinking about between streams. Oh, look at this, here's a... Probably a fossil to dig. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, got me a fossil. That's good. Uh, yeah, so I was thinking about it. In this update, villagers will not build their houses on paths. So we need to make a path down this way. Because I don't want anyone kind of moving right next to my, like, walkway here. I think this would look really nice down the line with some, I don't know, plants and stuff off to the side. So, we gotta make some paths, or at least something basic. I don't really have much, but we're going to use one of these default paths here. So, just in case you didn't know, paths can be really cool. You can actually redesign them, and it gives you like this sprite editing thing. You can turn them into, uh, well, they're really patterns, they're designs. And there are all sorts of different color palettes over on the side here. Um, you can cycle through them, these are just the default colors, by the way, okay? They are not the only colors you can use, but it's a good place to get started. So let's say you wanted to do that, all right? All right, sure. Um, then you can go ahead and change the individual colors by tapping the little, uh, little paint tube thing and then just picking a color from here. These are the only colors you can use, but there are a lot of colors, so that's kind of nice. And then you can have up to... This many, what is that, nine, like 15 different colors um, on the side there. So again, you can zoom in if you want. Otherwise, let's just uh, 
Just play around. See, like, I can draw with the stylus. Um, I can tap this thing up here to give some different tools. In this case, we'll make a slightly bigger one, I guess. Um, this one is even bigger. Cool. And, uh, yeah, on top of that, there are, like, fill tools and lines and stripes and all sorts of stuff. We'll play around with that later. I do like doing paths and stuff. But, as you can see, this is a shirt, not a path, and it looks like I spilled a snake on it or a river or something. Um, if you tap the thing in the top left, that determines what the preview will be. You can actually make it for any of these. Oh, that looks kind of neat, actually. But I like this mode here because that's kind of what it'd look like if it were a path. So just to keep things simple, this is going to be very, very basic. Um, we're going to change this color to like a dark green here. Um, we're also going to take this box thing. This lets you kind of make a, or I think it just fills everything and thinking about it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, so that gives us a very, very blank slate quite literally so we just want something very very basic this is not going to be a final thing um but we just want to have i don't know just like some grass here and there just just something just so for these next few days villagers will not walk on this path uh well not really not walk on we just don't want them moving in there okay it can be anywhere it just can't be here so hopefully you guys will want to see me make some pads on stream. It's definitely, um, definitely an art. It's kind of neat, but that's not what I'm going to spend my time with today. This is like super, super basic. Um, this is just super basic. Oh yeah. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what these pads can do for you. And then you can just do display on ground. And just like that. Ta -da! It displays it on the ground. Um, let's do this. Now, for instance, you can put other patterns on the ground as well. For instance, this bug might look a little bit better. You can clear any of your paths by pressing Y. And it can be kind of a pain to place them, but it's definitely worthwhile. So, again, why do I want to do this? I just want to make sure that villagers don't move in near here so what we're going to do we're going to uh actually you know what i got a better idea let's just use the cookie one. Oh wait i don't want to redesign it that's not what i want now later on it will be easier to share these paths with other players that are playing along which can be kind of nice um but for right now we kind of just have to Leave it as it is. Just these ones. If I make one myself, that's great. Or if I visit someone, I think I can still use their patterns. But what we're going to do, we're going to do this. It's actually easier if you use the stylus and just tap the little pencil icon there. It'd be nice if there were a much quicker automated way to do this in the world. Like, that's definitely something I hope that they improve on. Also, I would love a transparent color. I know it sounds kind of silly, but that's the downside to this. You don't really have any transparency, so you're somewhat limited. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. You're somewhat limited as far as the overall look of your paths. So this will just take a moment. We're just going to do that. I am kind of keeping an eye on the chat. If you guys want to say hi or something, um, it's always cool to see who's tuning in and who's uh who's enjoying animal crossing i really like animal crossing it's a fun game um definitely a lot of fun good memories too i didn't really get into it for a while but then i did a stream series on it and uh it was actually quite nice Okay, so we're going to repeat this on the other side over here. There is going to be this tree here. There's nothing I can really do about that right about now. But this will at least keep villagers away. Oh, yeah, we have a house, by the way. Well, I have a house. Hopefully you have one. Um, 
that was something I worked hard yesterday trying to earn some money for. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Um... Okay, yeah, I don't know what that fan was about. <laughs> That's one heck of a way to greet everyone, Aperez. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm hoping that was just a, a misclick, as I see there. Um, yeah, Timaeus and Skotin, how's it going, guys? Let's see. <laughs> uh, Aperez for best mod, banning everyone instead of greeting him. Uh, all right, anyway. <laughs> Let's see. So, we're just gonna do this for right now. Now, one nice thing is, if you change a path, or like a design here, it'll actually change it on all of them. So we can actually just swap this sample carpet out later on, and we won't have to do this process again. And I was gonna put something down the middle, but the more I was thinking about it, I don't think we need to, because Villagers are not going to move in there thanks to this update. Apparently they just do not move in on paths anymore, which is great! Because that used to be like the worst thing, you know, you do a lot of design and you get your your paths looking really cool. And yeah, then guess what? There's uh, yeah, there's nothing. Um, <laughs> there's nothing you can do to stop a villager from moving in and ruining it all. Uh, Team Happy Day asking, can I visit Ica Village on stream this time around? Well, not today, because this is literally day two. We haven't done anything yet. I don't have the dream suite. But maybe at some point. I know it's a pretty, uh, iconic town. I would not mind checking it out. I just don't know if it's been updated to, uh, the Welcome Amiibo update. So hopefully it has. And hopefully we'll be able to make enough money today. Um in order to afford the house upgrade. Oh, wow, I like your house here, Leonardo. Hey, I uh, made it, huh, Werner? Well, I'll take a load off, Flexin, so what's up, bro? I just want to chat. Yeah, I've been working my biceps like crazy lately. I'd love to show off for some out-of-towners. We should invite some friends from other towns to come and see the gun show, Flexin. Haha, <laughs> the guns are my muscles, of course. I'm gonna train my butt off until your pals show up. Well, not today, but sometime I will be letting, uh, Subscribers chill, which will be kind of nice. Maybe visit the town. I was thinking maybe Sundays we do that. We kind of like hang out, maybe invite some people over to, uh, to Cheville. Um, could be neat. Maybe go to other towns. Do something. Oh, hey, it's Soleil. Hey, how are you? Good evening, Warder. What brings you out tonight? Tarnation? So what did you want, Warder? Uh, I want to chat. There's a rumor going around that you're a freshman mayor. As far as rumors go, that's not half bad. I've certainly been called worse. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, let's see. Hey, Boxer108 just subscribed with Twitch Prime saying, uh, I haven't watched the stream in a while, and now you're playing my favorite game on the 3DS. Well, that's awesome. Hopefully this will be something you'll tune in for. Uh, because it'll be daily, which will be nice. Uh, you're looking so you today, Warder. What do you want to talk about, Twinkles? Want to chat? Hey, word is you're way into catching fish, Werder. I hope that's true, because I heard that owning a crawfish is the next big thing in aquatic decor. I just gotta have one. Uh, hopefully I can get it. I don't really know if I can. Um, alright, let's see. So, I need to, uh, I need to actually go see about these duties here. Uh, I said duty. Oh no, I need to see about my mayoral duties. All right, I'm all unpacked, kind of. Um, <laughs> my bedroom is completely full of unpacked cardboard boxes and it feels like I moved so long ago. Yeah, same, actually. Sorry, please don't tell my brother. I don't let him into my room for just this reason. Ahem. Right, I was going to tell you about the town hall. For starters, right now where I'm standing at the service counter. Right now I'm standing at the service counter. This is the information hub of Cheville. At the service counter, I also take requests to change the town tuner flag design. Oh yeah, we gotta do that. Oh yeah, I can also provide information about citizen satisfaction. Uh, and of course, I always welcome direct input from our great mayor. Okay, however, to get advice and provide input, you'll need to stand at the counter just like everybody else. Where you're standing now is perfect, actually. Okay, my responsibility is as mayor. Oh, I almost forgot. 
Before you can start laying out your vision for Javel, you need a town development permit. Getting the permit takes a bit of work, but don't worry. I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. Sounds good. Um, okay. You know, I just love your can-do attitude, Mayor Warder. Uh, now then, there's a very special chair in the back of this room that's reserved for the mayor. That's you. When you need to work on official mayoral business, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy so we can get started on your town development permit. Well, that sounds great. Let's go on over here. Ah. Hi, Mayor Warder. Let me guess, you'd like to work on the application for your town development permit. Well then, let me explain the prerequisites for the permit. The first requirement is that you own a house in town. Check. Since you already own a house, you're all set there. Okay, the second, the second requirement for the town development permit is to gain the approval of the citizens. In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll regularly survey the townsfolk to see what they think of you. The best way to raise your approval rating is to improve the town and the lives of the people who live here. Now, according to the preliminary survey, your current approval rating is 21%. 21%? Man. The law requires that all applicants have a 100% approval rating, so let's make that our goal. Wow, I want to know who among us is uh, is not very happy with me. Talk to me from your mayor's chair anytime you want to know what your approval rating is. Okay, uh, I can also give you advice on how to raise your approval rating. That's all there is to it. All right, well, that's great. So we got to do that. We should probably just send everyone in town a letter. Um, and hope that'll work. I don't know. I think because I sent a few of them a letter already... They will not forget that. So, let's see if I can get lucky here. Remember, yesterday I made a lot of money from the money rock. Oh my gosh, seriously? First time again! This is the second day in a row it's been the first rock. That's great. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Alright, well that's wonderful news. Um, cool! Well, that takes care of some money. Jeez, normally you have to like smack all the rocks in town, and it's always like the last one that you see that's money rock. Or at least that's how it is for me. Well, that's a great way to get money early on in the game. Even a decent way to get money later on, for that matter. Uh, how am I doing with stuff? Yeah, I got some stuff. I got a violin. Let me set that up. Oh, I missed. I feel like this doesn't belong either. I swear, this is the gem rock too. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I was gonna say, that'd be nuts. Like, the last time, well, the first time of this stream, um, I ended up getting the money rock, and then immediately afterwards got the gem rock. It's like, what? So blessed. Okay, so I need to improve everyone's lifestyle around here. I have to make some big changes. Let's remove all these weeds. No villager wants to see those eyesores. Let's also check on my flowers. Oh my gosh, you stupid! Uh, who decided to move right on my flowers? Okay, come on. I put this path right here on the hopes that no one would crush my flowers! So what do you do? You move right next to the thing, and you smack my flowers with your whatever these things are. The ropes and the moving in sign. Of all the nerve! Whoever you are, I don't like you very much. Although I did at least get one of these flowers. But what the heck? You jerk! I mean, to be fair, this is where I wanted my house too. But not before I planted the flowers there. Alright, who are you? Olaf! That seems like a very Olafian thing to do. Oh my gosh, Olaf. I have a new person in town that I do not like. I think he's like this big bull kind of thing. <sighs> Alright, well... Yeah, I'm not very happy with that. Olaf! Oh no. Mm -hmm. Well, he's gonna be the first to go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so I guess I need to need to replant these flowers, the survivors. This guy. What a loser. I mean, look, I put this right here so they wouldn't move within, what, eight of that? Within three? I don't know. I guess they can move right next to it. 
And stop him! Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and try to salvage this situation. I guess I need a new garden. Watch, I'm gonna plant it here, and then tomorrow someone's gonna move here and crush the remaining flowers. Oh well, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. We're we're gonna be all right. So let's um, let's try this diagonal out, right? That's gotta be it. We we gotta do this diagonally. Ahem. I guess they have to be right beneath me. Cool. And let's put one here. There we go. All right, time to water these flowers. <laughs> my name's Warder. Oh my gosh, Olaf. I am really upset with him. Um, very upset. What a jerk. Seriously, that guy. It's like jerk extreme. Uh, all right, we want yellow here, but we'll try plant diagonally like this. Okay, then I need to do probably the most mayoral thing possible, and that is I need to leave a message at the bulletin board. All right, to the bulletin board! Here we go. Oh, we got an owl over there. We got a rock right there. Oh, there we go. Chevelle announces that Werder has assumed the role of town mayor. Let's look forward to his plans to enliven the town. <laughs> Dear town of Cheville, get good. All right, we need to write something. Okay. Dear town of Cheville. Olaf is a... Good for nothing. Flower murderer. What a jerk. Don't give. Him. Oh, I was gonna say don't give him cake for his birthday, but I'll just leave it at that Okay, cool we're done now the whole town knows of your crime Olaf you're a good-for-nothing flower murderer <laughs> Okay, there we go. Uh, anyway, I think this is something we can break. Oh, yeah, we got some sapphire um, let's see so should have some good money. What do we got here? Oh, I missed. Well, at least I didn't fall into it, so that's nice. Boop. There we go. Got me another fossil. Should probably actually go in my house. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, Olaf is a jerk. That guy. Um, so I need to also raise my approval rating if I want to get anywhere in this town. <laughs> Shiny Misty's saying the first thing you'll do is send him a letter about how horrible he is. That is right. I will never forgive him for that. Never. Okay, um, let's see. Maybe I should check in with Isabel. To see what my approval rating is because I need to sell some things over in uh... Oh, hi, what's up? Did Olaf crush your flowers, too? I'm selling some of my things to my fans. Are you interested in buying a barber tea? It's not new, so I'm selling it at a good price. Uh, fine, whatever Uh, Okay, cool Oh, I missed a dig spot. I'll have to go back and get that uh, right by the bridge? How could I miss that? Uh, oh, there it is, because it's in the tree. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so this is a pitfall seed. I would show you. In fact, I should show you. You want to be on the lookout for these, because they can be used for pranks and stuff. 
basically what happens with that is it looks like a normal kind of kind of thing. You walk over it and then, oh no, <laughs> I'm trapped and you have to like move your control stick and mash buttons and stuff to get out of there. It can be pretty funny. Uh, also, your villagers could fall in there as well, so you have to watch out for that. But it's great for, like, pranking people and such. But what you can do if you don't want them... Also, one spawns every day. So, yeah. But what I like to do is I like to just bury it down on the beach. If I dig it up, then bury it on the beach, and then another will not spawn. Um, so that's just really convenient. But I don't know, I, I think it's fine if we leave them for right now. Oh yeah! Have you heard? Someone new is moving to Cheville. They're building a new house right now. Yeah, right on the flowers! This town could use a little excitement. I wonder what sort of character will move in. A villain? Um, Goldie! Hey, how are you doing? Hi, Werner! Goldie oh, just flew by for me. Woof! So what's on your mind? Alright, uh, flowers, of course. The other day I was shaking a tree- Oh my gosh, her eyes are open. Uh, when a piece of furniture dropped from its branches, woof. Until then, I didn't realize trees could bear furniture instead of fruit. Anyway, it was a lovely surprise. Yeah, I got, like, a something from there. Um, okay, so... Let's see... I guess I can shake some things, right? Bees could fall down, too. Oops. Didn't work. But I have a bug net now, so... Even if bees do fall, I might be able to catch them. Takes a little practice, though. All right, um... Put a pitfall in front of Olaf's. Good idea, King Gruz. I like that. Um... All right, what is my approval rating? I'll tell you what Olaf says. Zero. Uh, okay, they are at... Uh, uh-oh. Uh, I'm not sure if it's okay to write something like this, so forgive me. I wonder if they could maybe pay a little bit more attention to our town. Perhaps just a little. There's not enough greenery. They want more plants. Well, gosh darn it! Don't blame me! Blame Olaf for crushing the flowers! Gosh darn it! Okay, well, Olaf, trying to get in my way for becoming mayor. What a jerk! Okay, so one thing I was also thinking, by the way, um, I was thinking, it's, it's kind of just like this headcanon thing. So I have this headcanon for Cheville that Goldie and Bones are actually like siblings, maybe even twins. They're, they're kind of like the Isabel and Digby, who I guess we have not yet seen Digby in this um, town, but yeah. It's just kind of a headcanon because it looks so darn similar. So I don't know, maybe one of them will move out someday, but... So I'm hearing I have to actually sit here for the reading. She told me, hey, if you have any problems with the villagers, if you want to know what they're up to, you know, check there. Okay, so how much progress? 26%. Well, gosh, okay, mingling with the town citizens. Sure, but I'd like to make some money, too. Alright, well, we might not be able to do this today, we'll have to see. Well, I have to see. Um, cat machine. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's see what the uh, reward thingies are for today. Um, I do that through here. Good fit initiative. Spending over 500 bells at Able Sisters. Oh, that's easy. Diving beetle initiative. Can't get that. Um, oh, hey, I got the, the secret rock. That's nice. And I should go get some fish. Cool. Okay, let's do that. Um, I guess I can get some coupons, right? Yeah, there we go. That's for getting that rock. Wonderful. So I got some coupons now. Some meow tickets. Well, I should probably see who's over at the thing. Um, let's see. Shadow Journey 15 asking, does it take more than one day to get approval 100%? Uh, you can actually do it in one day. It just takes a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it today or not, but usually if you do enough, like, letter sending, cleaning up, and stuff like that, usually it's fine. Um, alright. Hey, Harv. Harv. <laughs> oh, you mean me. 
Well, hey, right back at you, friend. Wait, how do we know each other? Is my old noodle really getting that soggy, old brother? Aren't those little yellow birds cute? Just flying free, not a care in the world. Uh, what? All right, well, keep sipping that tea there, pal. Let me in the van. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's Jack. The pumpkin king. That's pretty cool. It'll be a while before it's... Ooh, pie. Pie! I want this pie! <laughs> Can I order this pie, please? Pumpkin pie. Oh, I need this pie! I don't even care. I'm just... I'm getting this. This looks so good. Okay. <laughs> All these other things are kind of like holiday items. So that's pretty neat, but... Yeah, uh, I need that pie, like, right this moment. That has to happen. So I guess I just order it, and then it will appear. Which is cool. Well, it'll show up in my mailbox later on. Um, okay, so... I only have about 30 minutes left to make money. Because retail, which is the best place to make money, it closes at 9. Actually, for that matter, I better hightail it over. I gotta buy some clothes and talk to Sable. Alright, let's go on over here. Okay, so let's buy out Nookling Junction. Go ahead and do this. Uh, I have all these tools, so I don't really need anything there, but it doesn't hurt to buy a compass. Yeah, sure. I'll buy it. It's a good idea to do that just in case, um, because you want to build up the shop. The best way to do that is by actually buying things. So if you got the money for it, go for it. Oh, retail's 11. That's right. I'm sorry. I was thinking of, uh, thinking of the other shops up here close at 9. But yeah, retail is 11. Uh, alright, let's see. Oh, it's Bones! There's Bones. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Warder, funny running into you here. Yep, yep. So what can I do for you? What's the latest? Don't copy my style, okay, Warder? We start dressing the same, people might get us confused. Oh, gosh darn it. These are my clothes? These are my selections? Hi, Sable. How are you doing? I need something. Do you think you could ask the clerk over there? All right. Um, let's see. Well, I gotta buy something, gosh darn it. So I guess we're just gonna have to get adventurous with this preppy shirt. Yeah, let me have this. I'm a very preppy samurai. I'm wearing this thing out. Uh, all right. Yeah, they have new items every day, which is kind of nice. Guess I'm going with camo pants. Sure. That just looks fantastic. Well, at least I get my meow coupons. Excuse me, buddy. Okay, next up. What kind of stuff do we have here? Man, they're just really, really making me wonder. Ooh, although I have to say, I have the Jester hat. Didn't they have the uh, Jester top? I could try it. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. I actually kind of like this idea. All right, Jester shirt. Although we do need to save the samurai helmet for the war against Olaf. <laughs> hey, Perez saying the Jester hat is just terrific. It's just terrific, huh? I think it'd be better than that. All right, well, I always have days where I want to look like a Jester, so let's do this. I think buying it would be a good gesture. Uh, all right, I will keep this thing on. Cool. Um, no, I I like this eye. 
It's fine. Okay, let's uh, let's move forward here. We only have 25 minutes to kind of take care of things up here because a lot of stuff kind of shuts down at. Oh no. 8 p.m. Guy. All right. Well, so much for that. Guess we're not upgrading the house today. Oh well, that's okay. We don't need to make tons and tons of progress. So, one thing that I think might be a good idea is if we plant some more trees around here. If there is one thing the villagers like, it is trees. They are weird like that. So, we need to go get some saplings. Actually, we don't need saplings. We need peaches. That'd probably work. Actually, what I really need to do, I need to buy some stationery. Um, let me go get some stationery really fast. Because I can just send a letter to, like, everyone. Okay, here we go. Cool, we'll get some of this. Also, apologies for everyone watching live It's if it's kind of choppy. I told you that internet might be a little, uh, a little crazy tonight. Don't know why. Oh, Charter Internet or Spectrum or whatever they try to rename themselves with to get rid of their image. I mean, at least there's no, uh, no bandwidth limit or anything. But, yeah. Um, what the heck? <laughs> Sorry to bother you when you're in the middle of something, but would you please come over here? Over where? Where? Well, I don't feel like you're not going in the wrong direction if that helps any. What? Okay, this is news to me. Thank goodness, you're almost here. It's confusing, I know. The heck are you? What the? Wait, not that way. I'm over here. Sorry, I know it's confusing. Where? Over here? Is, is it Olaf's ghost? Oh my gosh, it's the ghost of the flowers. Uh, thank goodness you're almost here. Okay, it's gotta be like, flowy or something. Oh my gosh! Oh, thank goodness. Well, hello, as you can see, I'm a lamp. I mean, I'm inside a lamp. Rather important distinction. Anyway, I feel a bit awkward asking for another, fav another favor. Would you mind rescuing me? That's right, just pick up the lamp and take it somewhere quiet. Like your house, for example. I'll make it worth your while. What do you say? All right, well, that sounds good. Uh, what could go wrong here? I'm a bit shy and I don't love wide open spaces like this. You never know who's looking at you funny. All right, I'll leave it to you. Okay. Oh, darn it, I don't have any room. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just drop it on the ground. All right, see ya. Okay, well, we should probably do something about the spooky ghost. Um. Okay, so if ever you're short on storage, by the way, helpful trick. You can always just drag items back to any of your letters and use them as temporary storage. So that can be a very good way to get a little bit of extra inventory space if you need it in a pinch. So we're gonna take this lamp on over here. Um, Across this bridge. Hi Tutu, how are you doing? Want to see my lamp? <laughs> uh, all right, what is going on? Oh, right, I needed to get a crawfish for her. Hmm. All right, well, yeah, that's uh, that's a thing I'll have to do. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait, I do have room. What am I talking about? I got room. Cool. So we'll revive these fossils to make some money. I like money. Okay, why did I put my house all the way over here? I don't know. I did. Okay. Let's do this. We're just gonna drop this thing off. Uh. Oh, it's Isabel. Sorry to intrude, Mayor. Okay. I see your house is all finished. Congratulations! The lumber smell from a new house is so nice, isn't it? That reminds me, I brought over some wallpaper to celebrate your new home. 
All right, wonderful. Uh, yeah, this isn't the time just yet. Okay, she'll send the, uh, the wallpaper and carpet and stuff later. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, I've already explained about changing the room and things, but I didn't explain about the switch, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, basically what she was explaining is, um, there's, like, a light switch, so you can turn it on and off, which, if, you know, like me, when you were a kid, you did that all the time. Then when you're an adult, you're like, uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, so, why do I have five fossils? I must have picked one up yesterday and didn't turn it in. So, let's just put this stuff away for right now. Okay, so, we gotta set this lamp somewhere safe. Let's set it right down here. Also, I sleep standing up, don't worry. I sleep in my dentist chair, what am I talking about? Okay, we got a magic lamp. Uh, getting things ready. Wisp, the lamp spear, remember. Fine, alright! So, um, yeah, anyway, let's go buy these fossils, and then I gotta sell them. Oh, I gotta write some letters, too, that's right. Let me get my stationery. Ahem, my stationery. Wait, did I not buy the stationery? What? I could have sworn I did. Uh-oh, I better jet. Um, I really gotta get that stationery. I gotta send some stuff to uh, some villagers. That'll win them over. I could have sworn I bought that. Maybe I didn't have room in my inventory back then. That's probably what it is. Okay, that's no problem though. We can just go get that. That'll be just fine. Um, yeah, let's do that because this stops after a little bit. Wait, did I store? Stationary? I don't know. Maybe I did. I didn't think I did. Oh, well, we'll just buy some more. It's not a problem. Okay, so... Next up, I've gotta go... I don't know, maybe send some letters. I think the post office stays open all night, right? Maybe not. Yeah, I think it does. Hmm. Well, I don't really have any gifts anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, they stay open all the time. How else could you get your money? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, let's go on to her. Um, museum, that's right. Still not used to it being over on this side. Okay, Blathers, I need you to examine some fossils for me, please. I'm just gonna sell the daylights out of these. I don't have any fossils donated just yet, but I don't really care either because I think, uh, right now I'd rather have the money. Thank you very much. I'm a very greedy mayor. Very power thirsty. Need a lot of, a lot of money. <laughs> ah, I have a thirst for power. Oh man, what has become of me? Okay, well it's fine. It's all good mayors have at least some thirst of power, right? Okay, let's go on over here. Sell off this stuff, and then plant some things. Hey, 500 bits from Jedi Aster, delivering the final blow to the bit boss of Isabel. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the bits. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's still playing around with this thing. It's new, but kind of fun. This hopefully. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? I think I can get some more coupons from this, right? Let's see, because, yeah, I did... Spend some money on clothes. All right, now let's go make some money. Then we're gonna plant some trees. Oh wait, a moth. Oh, I don't need that anymore, gosh darn it. Well, I guess it's fine. 
Um, I guess it's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell these things. Yeah, sure. Uh, what's this? Violin? Do I really need a violin or a compass? I don't really. I'm gonna get rid of them. Uh, yeah, 17,000 bells? Sure, that sounds great. And this thing still hasn't sold. What the heck? Nice pull. <laughs> Snake Eyes saying, if I can't be the boss, no one can with 100 bits. Thank you for the bits, buddy. The fight. Uh, okay, let's see. So, what did I need to do? I'm getting a pie delivered to my house. Oh no, you have fleas. So if you see a villager and they have like fleas jumping off of them, that is a time you will want to use your bug catching net on them. Uh, because yeah. <laughs> What? I didn't have a flea on my body. What an outlandish accusation. Thank you. I just had to say that out loud just in case anyone was listen listening. You're my hero. What in tarnation were you doing with fleas? Anya, huh? Uh, okay. Let's see. I should probably donate that flea. For science! Um... There was a moth, right? Where was it? It was over on... By the light, right? Oh darn it, it's gone! That's pretty silly. Well, it's okay. Um, oh I could try to find that crawfish. Well, we have to give the approval- or we have to give the villagers something to approve of. So what better way than getting a crawfish? Now I'm hearing it's here, right? Oh, well, okay, it was hungry, apparently. Hey, I think this is a crawfish. Yeah, it's a crawfish. Cool, so I should probably go get another one. In fact, I wonder if I go inside and then exit, will that work? Um, that's what I need to know. Let's find out. Some order. Ah, fresh water. Okay, well, I don't see anything there. That's a shame. But there is another pond. I just want to get another crawfish so I won't be running around thinking, gosh darn it, where is my crawfish? Okay, I have your crawfish for you. Here we go. <laughs> Woohoo, you caught a fish for me, Twinkles. Yes, I did. Hey, your reward. I can't forget to give it to you. A shirt. Great. Just what I wanted. A spade tee. All right. Well. I know what I'm giving to someone. Actually, it doesn't look that bad with the jester suit. The jester hat. Okay. Well, it's all good. We'll just stick with this for right now. Um, let me see if I can get another crawfish, just so I won't forget that I haven't donated it to the museum. Uh, let's see. There is something. Oh, darn it! <laughs> so someone just started a new town. I don't remember who I heard it from, but I love this headcanon of whenever uh, you see a train cross the uh, the train tracks. Um, it's someone starting up a town for the first time. Uh, it's just kind of a funny thing. It, it doesn't really work that way, but I like that canon. Okay, let's see. So... I don't know why I want this crawfish, gosh darn it. She's made me want to get one. Okay, well, we're not going to have enough time to satisfy all the villagers. So that's okay. You know what? We'll uh, let's try to do what we can. 
Um, what else would be a good thing to do for tonight? I guess we should do some planting of things. That would be a good thing. Actually, let's talk to Soleil. All right, well, hello again. Well, making the most of the day, Warder. So what did you want? Uh, let's talk. Classic styles always have their place, but I also like the way the latest looks. Like this outfit. Isn't it just tree modern? It's so five minutes from now. Yeah, so five minutes from now. Can I interest you in a lovely speed tea? Probably not. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. Probably not, huh? Uh, okay, so... What are all you guys doing on your towns tonight? Just, uh, just you know, making conversation. Oh, what? Oh, I heard Gulliver pass it on the beach again. I used to get worried, but he does this all the time, so sometimes I think he doesn't need rescuing. Alright, well, I better go check out Gulliver. That's another thing. Wow, he showed up fast. Um, quite surprised. Okay, let's go over here. We'll talk to Gulliver. Yeah, every now and then you'll get this bird that shows up on the beach. His name is Gulliver. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. I kind of wonder if I should get some seashells or not. Probably not. They don't make a ton of money. They're good early on, but generally speaking, by the time you're in the tens of thousands of bells, they're not that much. Only if you have nothing better to do. Yep, there's a knocked out bird down here. The sea snail shell got the better of him. Uh, okay. Oh no, that's the port side. Starboard is on the right. It's all because starfish are right-handed. Uh, no, that's not it. Mmm, cinnamon buns are not currency. Not yet anyway. All right, I got just the thing that'll help you up. Oh. oh, darn it. <laughs> ah! No, nope, I'm still sleeping. Here, you want some water? You want some water? Got something else. Whoa, no, let's not do that. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, come on. All right, that ought to wake him up. Oh, no, that's the port side. Starver's on the right. Uh, nope, that didn't do it. Ah! Mmm, cinnamon buns are not currency. Oh my gosh, guy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. He's awake. Oh, are you my princess? Kiss me and wake me from my endless slumber. Uh, you might want to get your glasses checked. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Just who are you? You don't look like no princess. I'm Gulliver, just a humble little sailor of some note around seven or eight seas. Wait, could it be that you were the one who saved me? Oh my gosh, what have I done? I can't believe I was so rude to my rescuer. Find it in your heart to forgive me. That's what heroes do. Uh, I'm actually very confused at this exact moment. I guess I went overboard and was tossed into the sea. God, typical. Probably my fault for dozing off on the side of a ship in the middle of the biggest storm ever. I don't have a single memory of what happened after that. Sea amnesia, they call it. Don't think of it. I'm pretty sure I was on my way to some place or another. Since, you know, I'm a sailor. Oh, where was I headed? If I could at least remember the name of the silly place. Oh, I know. You gotta help me. I'll tell you everything I remember, so you'll please, please help me figure out where I was headed. You won't abandon a poor yet manly seagull like me, would you? Uh, sure, I'll help you out. That's fine. Uh, let's see. You mean it? I haven't met such a noble skipper since old Bobbery of Rogueport. Not even close. Paper Mario Thousand Year Tour! Yeah! Uh, now I suppose we should start with every anything and everything I can remember where I was going. So this place, it's got some sort of lake-dwelling beastie of the deep. From what I can remember, she peeks her cucumber-like neck up from the lake just to mess with you. I think her name was something like, nah, Nessie. Yeah, that's it. Also, let's see, it's pretty famous for something called bagpipes. Ever seen them? Like a sack of pipes. <laughs> Sometimes people dress up in things called kilts to perform with them. It's pretty neat to see firsthand. Think I look good at the kilt and bagpipes? I'm considering taking it up for a while. Okay, do you have any idea where this country might be? All right, is that Finland, Scotland, Greenland or New Zealand? I don't know. It sounds kind of like New Zealand, right? <laughs> no, Greenland? Uh, uh, maybe? Anyone? <laughs> Finland? Ah, it's Scotland. All right, all right. I'm not even going to try a Scottish accent here because I'll just end up making myself look like a fool. Uh, all right, Scotland! You're amazing! That's exactly where I was going. When I get to Scotland, I'm going to show everyone that I can master the bagpipes. Then I'll play a few songs for all my sailor buddies. You can't have a journey without awesome BGM! I promise I'll send you a fancy souvenir. It might take a while, but you'll get your 
Better get your hopes up. All right, whatever. Well, that's great. Yeah, so he shows up every now and then on the beach, and he just kind of quizzes you. He was visiting somewhere, and then he got, like, lost or something, and then you just kind of have to figure out, based on the landmarks and the things that he's telling you, where in the world he was. In this case, it was Scotland. But it will vary based on uh, where he's visited. Um, all right, so, anyway... You don't have a slingshot, so I can't get that thing. Hey, how are you? Uh, let's see. Let's talk. Yes, I can store items in the train station. Actually, I haven't really shown that. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. So, yeah. You may have noticed I stored some items inside of that little closet thing in my house. Which is good. That's definitely good. You get some extra storage that way. All storage contains those same slots, like they're all linked together. So, um, yeah, that's important to keep in mind. But you can also access your storage from here, the storage drawer thing. And I put my lined paper away, but I didn't actually put the extra, like, these, so I didn't actually buy them. So I got enough to write just about everyone a letter. Uh, what is this? Let's see all my items here. Modern wood chest or closet. Oh yeah, my billiard table. I gotta set that up in my house. It's not a house without a billiard table. Okay, so let's get the, what is that, barber tea? Yeah, barber tea. And what is this, Team Nintendo tea? Actually, this would be cool to hold on to. Gotta hold on to the samurai helmet. Wonderful! Okay, so let's, uh, let's send some letters to some villagers. Uh, one other thing I wanted to do is plant some... Beaches. Gotta get some more trees growing, because villagers like trees. They love them. Um, we need more of them. Well, we will need more of them. I think, honestly, what will help the most right now is just kind of talking to people. Try a quicker way to, uh, to get a higher, uh, percentage approval rating. But, I don't know, we don't need to worry about doing everything immediately, uh, right away. Because it's fine, you know? It's alright. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, let's sit on the big boy chair and see where I'm at percentage-wise. What is my approval rating? Um, development permit. 30%? Okay, what do I need to do? Watering flowers? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we'll water some flowers. Yes, if we need to do that, we'll do it. I will water all the flowers, even though now I have less flowers to water. Thank you, Olaf. Oh, jeez. Hey, 45 bits from Connor Fuller saying I found these bits just laying around. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna pick these flowers because they were just laying around. Who's that over there? Oh, it's Goldie. Hi. Oh, it's already eight. Time flies when you're having fun, Wolf. It's true. All right, well, let's chat. Uh, I'd like to come visit Sunday while you're working at the town hall. I could be your trusty assistant, Werder. I already got a dog assistant. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot you already have a very talented secretary. Oh, she's got inferiority complex because Isabel's better. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Let's drop off these flowers over here, maybe. Try to get some orange tulips. Wait, we're going to do diagonal, right? I think so. Okay. I don't think white and yellow make anything. But let's take some of these pansies. Good idea to try to group flowers together. Um, all right, let's see. Cosmos. We gotta get a new town theme. That one sounds a little, a little tipsy. Okay, here we go. 
So, I should definitely be able to plant my flowers here. Wait, did I get the cosmos? Gosh darn it, I didn't. But I found some cosmos now, so we can just set it there. Alright, so let's, uh, let's try to optimize this the best I can. Hey, Jedi Aster with 100 bits! That is some big service right there. Thank you so much. Alright, so... Plant... Red? Up there. Hello here. White. Sure. Ah, uh, that's good. Okay, Shiny Misty saying changing the flag and the town tune helps with the town approval. Well, that might be a good thing to try, actually. Um. Even if it's something non-permanent, like, we don't have to stick with it by any means. Alright, let's see. Can I put this right here? I think so. Yes, I can. Alright, there we go. What else am I carrying flower-wise? Tulips. Okay, let's go put these tulips somewhere. <laughs> Thanks for the bit snake eye with the hundred saying nope don't think so Got they're bitting back and forth Kind of fun to watch. All right, let's see so um, Yeah, these yellow cosmos, so I think I'm gonna put one right here. Oh Also another thing you can do you can just like drag them over to the ground and that works Okay, so let's see. I also need to. Ooh, clovers. Let's get rid of those. Here we go. Some of those red cosmos. And I think there was another one set up over here, right? Alright, what do you got to say, Soleil? I heard a rumor that you have a barber tea. I've been looking for one of those for a long time, Tarnation. Would you consider selling it to me, Warder? Okay, make an offer. That was 128 bell sounds. Sounds pretty bad, but oh well, it's fine. Alright, well, here you go. You're going to change into it, aren't you? <laughs> I'll treasure it forever, Warder. Thanks for selling it to me. Oh, she doesn't even want us to change into it. <laughs> oh boy, Jedi asked her. 100 bits, it's a bit more. Alright. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay, let's see. Try to round up all these flowers. Oh yeah, here's my tulips, so let's put these tulips. Well, I got one set of tulips, so we'll put it right here. Okay, um... What am I gonna do? Did I have anything I was gonna sell? I don't think so. Oh, I do have that flea, that's right. Uh, let me get this. Wait, is that a crawfish? Uh, let's see. Danganronpa2 asking, is Maryland's character literally named Warder? Is that a nickname from the villagers? No, that's my name. That's totally my name. Come on. There we go. Okay, um, yeah, there we go. I got me the crawfish. Sweet. I need to donate that thing. Okay, so I could follow this present all the way. But that's going to take a few minutes. And I don't really know if I care about it enough for that. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So... Oh yeah, I have all these peaches. I need to plant some trees. Not that it's a good idea to keep trees that are just peaches, but, eh, you know, early on it's not too bad. Uh, let's see. It's gonna work. That's gonna be a little too close.
Um. Well, we'll plant some here. There's nothing really going on over here anyway. Okay, let's bury the peaches. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Goldie's helping me plant them. And Snake is burying me in bits. <laughs> Can't see the bottom screen with all the bits. Okay, cool. They're having they're a little fight. Okay, let's grab these white tulips over here. Oh, more peaches. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. All right, let's go put those tulips over here. Actually, I should put them right here. Yeah, this is going to be great. Um, Ta-da! All right, hopefully that will turn out swimmingly. So, next up, let's see if uh, changing the town, te the, the, the town tune theme thing that actually makes a difference or not. It's a good thing to try, at least. I think I can do that from right here. All right, town tune. Now, we're going to come up with a better idea later on, but for right now, let's just do something. Um... Okay, behold my excellence in musical power. So by the way, how this works, you can like use your stylus to adjust the notes for all these. There are uh, a total of 16 different notes at play. The, uh, the long dash thing that kind of extends it for a bit. And then, oh uh, well, here, I'll just play it. Yep, see? So what we're gonna do, we're going to, uh, we're going to actually just have it entirely random, because that's very much the nature of Cheville. Very random. Cool, perfect. Um, yeah, no sharps, no flats, unfortunately. Perfect. <laughs> so we're just gonna do that. Question mark is anything. All right, wonderful. Um, cool. <laughs> we'll work on it later, don't worry. Uh, it's just something that I'd like, like to actually give some ideas to. I'm not very musically talented here. Okay, so for right now, let's give a new design for Cheville. And I think this super basic pretty much just describes it. Uh, it's perfect. It really captures the spirit of Cheville. All right, well, great. Um, cool. So, what is my approval rating now, Isabel? Now that I've done your dirty work. Okay, give me that development permit. Uh, 37%. Okay, what do I have to do? Cleaning up the town? Full of garbage? What? Okay, so you're telling me to go fish up garbage? Well, then, get back to your work. All right, anyway, we have this lovely grass flag. It symbolizes the potential of Benchton. Or not Benchton. Uh, uh, the potential of Cheville. Benchton, that's so two years ago. All right, let's go ahead and... Um, I don't know, maybe clean up some seashells. She sells seashells by the seashore, right? See, uh, she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells. Uh, never mind. Okay, let's see. We're just gonna clean these up. Maybe it'll help. Uh, let's see. Oh, I still have some flowers. Okay, what I need to do, I need to get up here. I need to, uh, 
go to the mail place, the post office. Yeah, that's the place I'm thinking. All right, so we're gonna do that, and we're going to send some letters to the villagers, kind of introduce them. Uh, let's see. Wait, what do I have on me for flowers? I do have a yellow pansy. I don't think that is compatible with that one. Wait, did I ever get that crawfish? I did. All right, let's go. I have a flea and I have a crawfish, so I'm going to take them both over. We'll see how that goes. Uh, seems this way. Really gonna freak me out, I tell you, because I'm not used to it being over here. Okay, I got some things for you, Blathers. All right, well, I'm glad you enjoy that so much. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, I need to... What do I need to do? I need to send some letters. That's what I need to do. So let's go ahead and write some letters to these villagers. Let them know who's the boss of this town. All right, let's see. Do -do -do. Need some order. Ah, refreshing order. Okay, let's write a letter. So we need to write a letter to Goldie, I think. Um, let's see. Don't worry, sweetheart. Some, oops. Someday you'll make. Well, even fit, even fits, even better. Assistant, I can't spell. <laughs> Assistant. Then. Isabel. Oh, darn it. Uh, ever will. Don't you be telling her I darn it, it didn't count or didn't, didn't work. Said Siard said so. So I heard. <laughs> there we go. All right, dear Goldie, don't worry, sweetheart. Someday you'll make an even better assistant than Isabel ever will be. Don't you be telling her I said so, though, you heard? Perfect. Uh, all right. Nice. Um, okay, so we'll give her... What is this? A spade tea. We'll give her a spade tea. Always important to get your pet's spade teas, of course. Um, we're going to write another letter now. Let's send it to... I feel like I sent one to Soleil already, so... Leonardo, maybe. Yeah, let's do Leonardo. Alright, dear Leonardo. Um... There... Once was a... Catch of... Flowers... I loved so much. Then Olaf squished him. <laughs> All right. Don't get mad. Don't get. Oh, darn it, it doesn't fit. 
Don't get mad, get even. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Dear Leonardo, there once was a patch of flowers I loved so much. Then Olaf squished them. Don't get mad, get even. Perfect. Uh, we got to give him a... What is this? A billiard table? I could give him the billiard table. Nah, I'm not going to. I'm going to give him this sea snail shell, which maybe he can clock him over the head with. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, next up, we got to send a letter to Bones. All right. Hey, dog. Just wanted to say you're a pretty chill fella. I reckon we ought to ride off in the sunset sometime partner or pumpkin pie mmm there we go <laughs> Dear Bones, hey dog, just wanted to say you're a pretty chill fella. I reckon we ought to ride off in the sunset, partner. Or ride off in the sunset sometime, partner, for pumpkin pie. Perfect. <laughs> oh, if only I had some pumpkin pie for him right now. Uh, we'll give Bones the billiard table. I just realized I don't even have... I don't have any room in my house for a billiard table. What was I thinking? Um, alright, next up. Let's write a letter to Tutu. This letter is to you, Tutu. <laughs> Hundred bits from Tents on Fire saying, Marilyn is doing Animal Crossing now. Sign me up. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for the bits. Tents on fire, and yes, I am doing Animal Crossing. All right, this letter is to you, Tutu. Um, let's see. What do you do to, um, what do you do to, I'm trying to think of things, you know, rhyme with two. What do you do to, um, do the brew when you chew? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, what do you do when you stew the brew when you chew? 100 bits from anti-08. Saying, might as well throw in my remainder. Well, thank you so much for the bits. You guys are awesome. Oh. Uh, I'll leave it to you to two to think it True. There we go. Dear Tutu, this letter is to you, Tutu. What do you do to stew the brew when you chew? I'll leave it to you, Tutu, to think it through and through. Yeah, Worder! Okay, that's perfect. Um, We'll give her oyster shell for her brew. All right, that's awesome. Um, let's go ahead and send her, send everyone all these letters. I think I already sent the other letters. Also, apologies if the stream is a little laggy or something. I don't know what the deal is with internet. It's been really choppy tonight. 
Thank you, Charger. Ugh, but, oh well, that's how it goes. Um, it should look alright once it's on YouTube, though. But yeah, that's always how it is with streaming. You never know. Sometimes you can just have bad nights with it. It's not terrible, but definitely not ideal. Okay, and I am seeing it. It's dropping the frames and all that. I don't know if it's a Twitch issue, too. It is possible, but I have a feeling it's my internet. I feel like Twitch is a little... Spilled a little. Uh, a little twitchy earlier. Oh, and I guess Snookling Junction's actually open a little later. Huh. Your bits from Jedi Aster! Thank you so much, Jedi Aster, for the bits. Alright, so... Got that done. Next up, let's go... Fishing. Uh, actually, I can't sell anything. Can well, I can sell things. That's right. You know what? I can do them. I can sell my things over here. I don't get as much money, but I get a little bit. You know, it's fine. You get like, I think, I don't remember, like 80% of what you'd normally if you sold it at the, um, whatchamacallit, retail. <laughs> King Goose with 101 bits saying hello there. Oh boy, the Goose is loose. Alright, oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, let's see. I want to sell. Um. Yeah, so the price is a little different. Usually you get worse for your money here. But it's okay, it's not... Terrible. You just don't want to generally do it. But like right now, since retail isn't even open, it works out fine. Uh, let's see. Choco Choco Tacos 13 saying, so I'm assuming this stream is only in Maryland's town with no multiplayer slash outside influence, right? Well, that was how it was in my last Animal Crossing stream of Benchton. But, or for the most part, but this one, I actually do plan on some interaction with other players, with subscribers. And we'll all have a rather chill time, I think. But it won't be just yet. I'm hoping maybe by Sunday we'll have our first kind of multiplayer thingy. Um, but it definitely will have more emphasis on that uh, in the future. Would be nice. Oh, Barble Steed. It just needs a Barble Steed. Barble Saddle. I can't even talk, darn it. Oh, well. Hey, Danny Saurus just subscribed with Twitch Prime saying, Hey, I just found your Twitch channel. I've been wanting to start streaming and I've been trying to find what to stream and this has inspired me. What do you use to record? 3DS and your mic? Yes, um, I use a 3DS capture. It's basically a uh, 3DS that has been modified with a video output. Um, and that outputs to a screen, and I capture that with OBS to stream, or to, uh, yeah, to actually stream it. Then I use, um, what is this thing even called? It's an Audio Technica, what is it? ATR2100 USB is what microphone I'm using. It's a little quiet, that's the thing I will, uh, Kind of mention about it. I kind of like it because it filters out a lot of background noise. Like, there's no filter or anything on it. Just what you do is you run it through a compressor using Premiere, or now OBS has a compressor filter, and that works just fine. It increases the, uh, the volume. So I like it quite a bit. Uh, all right. So let's see. Uh, wait. It's been a thousand times already. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess I have been talking to Tutu a lot today. I just love springtime, don't you? It's like out with the old and in with the new twinkles. Right. Except it's almost not springtime anymore. We're almost into summertime. Uh, in fact, actually, we only have a few more days of fall, for that matter, over in uh, Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, because I think uh, day after tomorrow. Well, actually, tomorrow, if you're over in, like, Australia, for instance, I think that is... Um, Start of winter. Yeah, <laughs> pretty wild. Okay, let's see. So, Leonardo, what you again, Flixen? Hey, what's up, buddy? Bought some potato chips with this dodgeball guy's face is on the package staring at me. I want my face on a bag of chips. 
All right, life goals. We've all got them. Um, all got them. Oh no, King Grooves with 700 bits. What bit boss? All right, let's see if this works properly. I'm still kind of monitoring the whole thing. Yeah, it should be more than, actually no, it shouldn't because it's an overkill based system. It's based on how much of an overkill your cheer was to it with a minimum of 100. So for instance, I've seen like 101 or 102. And again, still playing around with the system. Like it's not set in stone by any means, this whole bit boss thing. Um, but it's based on how much of an overkill it was from the uh, the previous amount. So at 100, let's say you cheered 200 bits. Then I think you would have, I think it'd be 200 hit points. But if you cheered like, or maybe even less, I don't know. Still playing around with it, still playing around with it. But there's a few different systems to try too. Like there's one that makes it just increase like a static amount. There's others here and there uh, we'll have to kind of figure it out as well like based on whether you subscribe or not that can affect things um, or I can configure it to do that I just thought it'd be kind of more entertaining than just a static number since unlike say the Nuzlocke streams that I do where you know we have to hit like a certain number in order to extend the stream for an extra hour with the Animal Crossing streams, it isn't really like a finite amount of time that I stream. It's, I pretty much will just stream until I'm done. And I mean, realistically, it'll probably be about an hour, maybe 45 minutes once we have less to do. But there might be times it's like, hey, I got a big project today. Let's build a path or something, or let's try this out. And it might just take longer. Like there's no set time. So I figure, you know what, having a, uh, having like the little bit boss type thing, I think would be a little bit more fun than just a number. Uh, let's see, Aprez saying, if you have persistence mode enabled on the settings for the bit boss, you can keep the last user who cheered on the stream. I think that's what it is. I think I did do that. I did reset it last time because it was just a bit skewed for, um, Resubscriptions. It should definitely be a bit less, and I did change it since then. Um, but I would like to keep that there. Have like a lingering bit boss. We'll have to see. It's still just something I'm playing around with. Um. Okay. Let me donate this barbel steed. It was my finest steed there. Finest one. All right, let's see. Cheville Museum. I like the name. You know what? I was a little unsure of whether or not I like the name, whether or not it looks too weird. I just, I love how it's unique. Like Benchton, you know, these are both very unique names. I'm like 99% positive no one has ever named their town, either Benchton or Cheville, other than me, or at least spelling it the way I did. Maybe bench that. I doubt it, but I guess point is they are a uh, They're just kind of a good Good kind of naming theme. I like you know, I, I like unique names I guess is the point I'm trying to make and both Benchton and Cheville They're just cool. It's good to have kind of a place like that Okay, so it is dark out and I wish I had a flashlight or something uh, I should probably water these flowers, shouldn't I? I bet you the villagers would like that. Did I water all of these flowers? I did. I'm a good little boy. Okay, great. So, let me do some fishing over here. Also, one thing I guess I should mention, if ever you have a question about Animal Crossing, um, like if you're new to the series and there's something, you know, maybe I wasn't explaining properly, um, Please feel free to ask, you know, you can leave a message on Twitch, like a comment as you're, oops, as you're watching. Um, oh jeez, anti-08 with an unfathomable fury of bits, 5,000 bits saying, meh, why not let the bit wars begin? Oh jeez. So I don't know why it says 9,800 now, but 
For whatever reason, it did. I guess maybe the overkill works that way, like it's a certain amount. Well, either way, dang, thank you so much for all the bits, Auntie. You are the bit boss. Well, I guess I'll leave that up there for a while, so y'all have to work together to beat Auntie now. <laughs> ah, that could be pretty fun. Um, but then that does kind of add an interesting strategy because you don't actually want to just, let's say, cheer all the bits right away to do that. You want to do as much overkill as possible. Interesting. I can see it being kind of entertaining to watch how that goes over the, uh, the course of the stream series. Um, alright, let's see. But we'll just play around with it for right now. But yeah, anyway, what I was saying before I got bombarded, um, oh, come on. If ever you have a question about Animal uh, Crossing, New Leaf specifically, I don't know as well the older games, um, feel free to ask. If you're watching on YouTube, for instance, and you've watched through all of this so far, first of all, uh, thank you. Oh, come on, fish. This fish is, like, not interested at all. Oh, man. Um, yeah, first of all, thank you. But second of all, you know, please feel free to ask any questions. I'm usually more than glad to answer them. Or if I don't get around to it, maybe someone else will. So that's the thing. You know, we can definitely be a nice community here. That's, that's the nice thing about it. You know, Animal Crossing is a very relaxed, very chill game. Very fun, but there's a lot of different little tips and tricks and stuff, and there might be something that you see me do that I didn't explain, because this is actually my second Animal Crossing series. Um, oh hey Goldie, what's up? Oh, Werner, I'm glad I caught you. I've been saving up to buy an expensive book, but I'm still short. Well, I can't do anything about your height, but I could buy your bubblegum shirt. Okay, sure, I'll buy it for 420 bells. Uh, alright, cool. It's a good idea to help out your villagers, by the way. Even if you don't really want the shirt, it does help them. They get happier towards you. Your ultimate goal is to get pictures of them. Usually once they've hit like a certain, like a happiness value, that's when they'll occasionally give you a picture. There are other ways to get pictures. I like to do it that way. It's kind of like a, kind of like a, a goal to shoot for, I guess. Um. As opposed to just cheesing it or whatever. Okay, so... How is my approval rating doing? Let's take a look. I don't know how it could be anything less than 100%. I've been, like, so good to everyone. Other than Olaf. I'm not gonna become mayor once Olaf's here. That's the problem. He's never going to agree. He'll be the thorn in my side. We gotta get this done. Uh, let's see, 40%. Okay, what do I gotta do? It's closed, Isabel! Haven't you been outside? I guess she probably hasn't. She lives in here. Kinda feel sorry for her. Okay, um, so... I'm trying to think of what else we can even do with, uh... Oh wait, no, retail isn't closed. Why do I keep thinking it's closed? I don't know what my problem is. I keep thinking of, um, oh, where is it? Like, the Able Sisters. That's what I keep thinking of. Um, yeah, also there's this guy sleeping over here and he wakes up after a little bit. Whoa! My darling is extremely tired from working all night, so please let him get some sleep. He's working all night? Like, when's he gonna wake up? You know it's like 9.34 p.m. right now. Okay, well, uh, I guess then we could do a little bit of fishing. That's fine. Let's do a little bit. I don't think we're gonna get to 100% today. But it wouldn't be a bad idea. At least, you know, make some progress with that. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna worry about paths or... Anything of the sort until, um, until later. It's gonna take it easy for now. 
That'll be some fun streams. If you guys like patterns and designing, I think I'll actually do the designs on camera with you. Uh, cause in the past, you know, I didn't. I did a lot of it off screen. And definitely made it pretty convenient for me, but yeah, it's definitely a, definitely a big undertaking. Okay, so let's see. Get some sea bass. Gonna get so many of these things. So many indeed. All right. Um. Do do do. Come here. Yay! All right. Well, we'll get some fish. We'll sell some fish. Well, these sell for a pretty good amount. Red snapper. Although, I want to donate these to the museum. So I don't forget. Gotta be good like that. I should see if there are any fish that go away tomorrow. Because otherwise... Um, oh, look at that! It's a butterfly fish. Is Mayor welcome to my pockets? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that would definitely be a good thing to look up, because otherwise I'll have to wait until next May to do that. That's a long time. Uh, let's see. Danganronpa2 asking, do I have any headcanons about your town already? Um, main headcanon is Goldie and Bones are like siblings. They're like Digby and Isabel wannabes. Uh, Soleil... She's all fancy, but she has, like, she's like a southern girl. What in tarnation? I like it. <laughs> That's her, uh, her catchphrase. It's really funny. What is this? A loach! Wasn't hard to approach. Alright, well. Let's see. Guess I'll drop these fish off at the museum. I hit a tree. Darn it. Didn't want to do that. Let's see. Char disappeared. Oh, thank you, Random18, for sharing the info saying butterfly fish become less common. Char disappear. Cherry salmon disappear, pale chub become less common, and rainbow trout disappear. So that's good to know if you are uh, streaming, <laughs> or not streaming, but like following the stream, and you don't have any of those. Um, definitely want to get char and cherry salmon and rainbow trout. I think I got some of those. Alright, well let's donate this stuff. All right, cool. So, let's go ahead and leave. I guess we'll do a little bit more fishing. I think I'll probably stream until 10. Does that sound good? Maybe another like 20 minutes or so. I think that's probably good. That's like two hours, so pretty decent. All these Animal Crossing streams won't be that long, but I also streamed for four hour, or two hours earlier today as well. So that's a pretty long day, pretty long, four hours. <laughs> I know, I know, it's not that much, but I got another four hours tomorrow. Four or five. No, actually not, because tomorrow's Animal Crossing stream will be um, at 3 p.m. Central Time. So I am doing the Nuzlocke streams as usual. Hey, a frog! <laughs> Hop to it, froggy! Oh my gosh, it looks so funny. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, so that will be per usual, but I'll be doing an Animal Crossing stream before it, so that should be kind of fun. But it won't be very long, because, you know, I have to stop at about 345, 
my time to make sure that there's enough time for the uh, for the Nuzlocke stream. All right, another looch. Just gotta find some fish. Oh, darn it. <laughs> oh, man, that's my bad. Yeah, sometimes these fish can be just, you know, like, you know, it's a reaction based thing, but you know how reactions can go. Sometimes, like, it's for whatever reason, you just don't, not paying attention or. Whatever, really. All right, let's get this one. Yeah, closing your eyes is a good way to kind of react. What is this? Oh, a catfish? Do you think it has nine lives? Oh no, I've been catfished. All right, let's see. I don't think they make that joke in an Animal Crossing game. All right, let's see. Um, some more water. Ah, delicious stuff. Okay, now how am I gonna get this? Hey, now. Hey. Hey, Goldie, wanna watch me catch a fish? Not impressed, apparently. Hey, Goldie, do you want to see my frog? Here, wait, don't go anywhere. Oh, you didn't want to see my frog. Goldie, stay. Goldie! But it's my frog. It's not even looking. Wow. Wait, I want, I want to show you my frog. <laughs> there. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway. Right. Uh, let's talk. Oh, she's wearing... <laughs> I'm more refreshed wearing something... What was it? Comfy than... Whatever. She's like, oh, but I'm wearing a dapper tee. Like, that seems kind of contradictory there. Um, alright. So... How am I doing on inventory space? I can catch a few more. Let's see if I can find some good kind of ocean fish. Uh, I don't remember where Char's and Rainbow Salmon and that other thing are. Hmm. <laughs> Random saying. I think I have to say, Anti-08 officially ended the bit war. <laughs> yes, he brought peace to both sides. Uh, let's see. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's see. What are you? What are you? Oh, horse mackerel. Holy mackerel! Master Mr. M... Or Master Mr. B asking, Do you have a villager that, if you could, consider dating or pretend to be married to? Gladys is my waifu. No, I miss Gladys. She's like this this ostrich, but she was in my Waffles town, my first town of uh, New Leaf. I didn't stream that or anything, but it's often spoken of in legend. And I was just heartbroken when she moved out. She was like one of my favorite villagers. Actually, she probably is my favorite villager. And she just left. So I'm just heartbroken. She's like the one who left. I built a shrine to her over in uh, Waffles. And... It was great, but I keep wishing for her to return someday. So maybe, just maybe. But, yeah. 
But that's not really the answer to your story. That's just an aside. Come on, she's an animal. I only will ship the the villagers with themselves. Or not like themselves themselves, that's just weird. But like, yeah, not me. Okay, let's see. Anyway. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> oh man, everyone's calling me out on that shrine to her. I'll have to show it off in Waffles sometime. Like, I drew a picture and, uh, like, a Gladys sprite art thing, like a pattern. And then, like, <laughs> actually, I guess this is gonna sound more and more creepy the more I explain it. So, I put, like, like, a, a thing, um, like, right here in town with, uh, her picture there with like bushes and stuff all around it. That was where her house was. Then inside of my house, I had like three pictures of Gladys, like, you know, her picture, picture. Uh, like I had one next to my bed stand and then I had a, a printer in the house that was printing out pictures of Gladys. <laughs> it was really funny, I guess, in thinking about it, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's always funny. Like, I love all the stories from it. But Gladys is definitely, like, the one. She's my dreamy. I need her back. We need to be reunited. Someday. Someday. But I kind of want it to be through fate, too. I don't know if I want it to be uh, through Amiibo. Because I have her card. I have her card. And, um... That's definitely a good thing. But... I just don't know if I want to do that or not. Uh, alright. Anyway. That's my Gladys story. So, fish will bite no more than five times. Usually no more than four. So you can kind of keep track of that. Alright, let's see. How am I doing on inventory? I'm full. Alright, let me go ahead and do this. Watson saying creepy. <laughs> no, alright, now it'd be creepy if I told you that I also used that pattern to make Gladys bed sheets. And that would just be over the top. Because I think you can customize your bed's bed sheets with a pattern. Not entirely sure. Maybe not. I don't think I did that, though. But. Oh, well. All right, blathers. Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> the SJ. Or the S yeah, the SJ Johnson 2 asking, did you? I don't know. Did I? That's for me to know. And for you never to find out. Actually, I don't remember if I did or not. Okay, let's donate all these fish things. I don't know how I keep all that stuff in my pocket anyway. Okay, let's see. Oh, man. So much streaming today. I hope my voice will kind of hold up through all this. I think it should. I think it'll be fine. Uh, what else do I need to do? Sell some fish. Yeah, let's do that. See, look! Bones is up there being Digby. Wanna be Digby. Uh, let's see. Master M, or Master Mr. B saying, I don't know if you have Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, but I did do her house. Oh, interesting. I'd like to see that sometime. I do have it. I need to play it more. That might be something fun to do if you guys really like Animal Crossing. Maybe have, like, one day a week be, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Happy Home Designer, because that could be kind of fun. Uh, what was I doing? Standing in front of the door, for starters. All right, let's go over here. Let's see, Choco Tacos 13 saying, looked it up in the dream suite. There are two benchins, as of right now, Cheville is completely original. Well, I know that there weren't any benchins prior to mine, so there's probably some that were, uh, not copycats, but 
wanted to do that. Uh, all right, let's see. We're going to, oh my gosh, I love that, that bones being up there. Or like rivals or something. Okay, um, let's see. So, what is my approval rating at now? Let's find out. <laughs> I feel like I, I keep going up to Isabel like, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And, uh, yeah, I have a feeling like, yeah, we're, we're not. Okay, here we go. Tell me what's up. How are we doing? Uh, 40%? It didn't do anything! I thought they wanted some fish. Wait, what? Oh, I have to talk to people? I wanted to be mayor, I didn't want to talk to people. Uh, let's see. Danganronpa2 asking, Ever had Tia, Elmer, Hopper, or Diana in one of your towns? And I miss my old town. Uh, I had Hopper. And Hopper, I tell you, he was great. Uh, I even have a Hopper hat, which is... Pretty awesome, maybe I'll wear that sometime. He was a really, really fun character for my my place. I don't necessarily want to spoil things, but like, he stuck around forever. I think like the last episode was his funeral though, because like, the headcanon I had for him was, he ended up dying at the end when he moved out. It was so sad, it's like, oh, okay. It worked with the, the story, I guess, because I always kind of pictured him as being really old. And cranky, but he eventually warmed up. But then, like, I think we I don't remember if we built like a cemetery or something for him, or if I just wanted to. Or maybe it wasn't the last episode, but I know that we definitely we definitely remembered that. But yeah, I had Hopper, and then he flew the coop. Um, let's see. Okay, well, I guess I'll talk to some villagers. We'll see if that gets the job done. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, Leonardo. I'm your second biggest fan. Actually, I guess that thing isn't quite as big as me. But I'm not a fan. Oh! Alright, what's up, bro? Sore muscles? Me? <laughs> I'm starting to become afraid of my own strength. Seriously, bro, I hit a rock with a shovel and it broke into a jillion pieces. I know, right? Right? I've already done that, buddy. Thanks for the, uh, the tips, though, Leonardo. Okay, um... So, yeah, that's Leonardo in a nutshell for ya! Interesting villager. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I really am mad at Olaf. Really mad. Uh, okay, Kobe Brown Boy asking... Marilyn, do you know what villagers you want, or are you using random ones? Uh, currently I'm just using random ones. I'm going to try to keep it mostly random. I think maybe once per month I'll allow, uh, one to move in with amiibo cards, but for the most part it will be... Oh, you got fleas. Tutu, get back here. For the most part it will be, uh... It'll be just whoever's here. But there will definitely be some that I would love to see gone. Such as, you know, Olaf. Uh, yeah, did you just find a flea on me? Yuck, yuck, yuck. I swear I bathe all the time. And maybe that kombucha bubble bath is a bad idea. Yeah, you think? What the heck are you doing bathing in kombucha? Jeez. That's just disgusting just thinking about it. Um, ugh. Rose. Oh boy. Bacon Weasel asking, who's Olaf? Olaf is my nemesis. He's the guy that crushed my flowers and my dreams. What a bad guy. Um, all right, how am I doing, Isabel? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, we're not. Gosh darn it. 
Okay, well, you're lying to me, Isabel. That's just what it is. Just what it is. Okay, so we need to do something else. We got five minutes left. I guess we'll end at uh, whatever, really. 10 p.m. Central Time. So, um, yeah, let me think. What do you want to see me do right now if you're watching on Twitch? Is there anything in specific? Don't have much time. Be a little. I guess I could probably get a bug or two. Actually, I haven't really seen many bugs out. Hmm. Well, we only have four. Let's see. Maybe we should leave a pattern outside of Olaf's door. Let him know. I'm gonna leave that bug. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, we're gonna go do that. Let's do that. Okay, so Connor Fuller asking, how would you decide your once a month amiibo slash amiibo card? At random, straw pull, or just whatever you decide? I really don't know, to be honest. Um, I haven't given that a ton of thought. I just decided limiting it is probably a good idea. So, we'll see. Okay, so. <laughs> We're going to let him know. This is not somewhere you want to be. Oh wait, this isn't what I want. Get out of here. Jerk, you killed my flowers. I'll never forgive you for that. <laughs> Wait, I don't remember if this white or red flower was here in the middle, was it? I haven't even watered these flowers. Right, because I'm afraid Olaf's going to kill them. Um, alright, well that's fine. Let's just do this. All right, so Kobe Brown Boy asking, wait, you couldn't build your house there yesterday, so how did Olaf get in that spot? Right? I know. <laughs> now, actually, villagers' houses do take up less room than uh, player houses. Still, this is a very extreme location. Like, I honestly would not have expected anyone to move out here just because it's like, it's one tile away from the rails and it's just two tiles away from the river. That's crazy. But yeah, it's like, come on. Oh, look at these red roses. I'm gonna go steal these and I'm gonna put them over in the other place. We're gonna put them right here, I think. By the safety of this tree. Ooh, in fact, you know what? Let me put the pansies right here as well. We'll water those. All right, there we go. Does that look good? Probably. Still have one more flower in my inventory. Let me go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, Ultra B asking, so Marilyn, who's your favorite anteater? Mine is Pango. Uh, actually, I probably agree. There was another that I saw that looked a lot like Pico. That's Annalise, I think it is. Oh, hi. <laughs> and, uh, that was pretty cool. I like Annalise, but I think still currently Pango. I had her in Waffles. Uh, let's see. TM61 Will-O-Wisp saying, Hey, Marilyn, first time coming out to the new AC, er, yeah, Animal Crossing stream. What's the name of the town? The name is Cheville. T-C-H-V-I-L-L-E. We're on day two right now. <laughs> We're really making progress. All right, let's order this flower. And I think that's probably a good spot to save. So I'm just going to do that and make sure. Did I hear someone pinging or was that just me? That was just my imagination. All right, let's go ahead and save. And yeah, so the stream if you're watching live on Twitch, that is. So the stream will be at 3, um, 3 p.m. Central Time. So it's an hour before my Nuzlocke stream. I will be doing the Nuzlocke stream still. Uh, so tomorrow's Animal Crossing will probably only be about like 40 minutes, I'd say. It's not going to be super long, but we'll do a little bit. And then I'll take a quick break. 
And then we'll do the old Nuzlocke stream, which ought to be a lot of fun. And then Thursdays will be at 10 a.m. Central Time. So that's pretty early if you're in the U.S., but it should be pretty convenient if you are in Europe and such, which will be nice. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. Thank you so much for all the support, both with the bits and with uh, the subscriptions. That is some big service, and I will look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for a bunch more streaming. All right, see you next time, everyone. Woo!